डॉक्टर रूपाली शेड़के वर्किंग एज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एट वॉल्चन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू डिफाइन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एज वेल एज डिराइव द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ड्यू टू द पॉइंट चार्ज द कंटेंट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इज अ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी मैग्नीट्यूड एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ड्यू टू द पॉइंट चार्ज फील्ड चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड रेफरेंसेस एज वी आर फेमिलर विद द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड्स आर नथिंग बट अ इमेजनरी लाइन्स विच वी फील और वी एक्सपीरियंस द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी एट अ पॉइंट इज अ डिफाइंड एज अ फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस बाय द पॉइंट चार्ज प्लेस एट दैट पॉइंट this electric field intensity is an vector quantity and it is denoted by e the formula for electric field is given by force per unit charge that is f by q for explaining the electric field intensity let us consider a charge q which is a positive charge placed in free space and there is one more charge q now if the polarity of these two charges are opposite then they are attracted towards each other so the distance between the suppose it is a r distance this r distance goes on changing if it is a both are opposite charge then they are attracted if they are negative uh, negative charge if they are the similar charge then they uh, distance r goes on increasing they ripple with each other now the if the suppose we will assume this as a positive charge capital q and this is a negative charge the force between these two charges the force between these two charges is recalled by the coulomb's law what the coulomb's law uh, okay the force acting between these two charges is given by k into q product of q in capital q into small q divided by r square that is force is directly proportional to the product of the two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance and k is the proportionality constant now uh, consider one fixed positive charge q and we will move this q charge in the field of the field of this capital q this is a charge q placed and we are moving in the, uh, the this the arrows are representing the electric field across this this uh, when we move this another charge q in this field then it experiences a force this charge experiences the force due to this point charge q that force is given by the coulomb's law and the electric field intensity due to this point charge q is given by force experience by that charge that is force per unit charge now when we know that what is the formula for force that is q upon k into q upon r square and this q is the charge which we have then this q and this q will get cancel out and only you remain with the e, e is equal to k upon q upon r square now what is this q is a positive charge q what we are consider and r is a distance between this two charges and k is nothing but a proportionality constant when you substitute the proportionality constant it will be 1 upon 2 pi epsilon q upon r square now let us find the magnitude and direction of this e for that again let us consider a positive charge q is placed the direction of the electric field for this positive charge is outward if this q is a negative then the direction of that uh, field will be towards the charge as it is a positive it is outside 
for negative it is inside and if you consider one more charge at some distance r from this positive q then this q will also this charge will experience a force and the direction of the experience force will be in the same direction as that of the field the whatever the field electric field direction is there, the same the for uh, the direction will be for this q also so the force is given by q upon 4 pi r square ar bar direction of is a multiplied with the unit vector that is ar ar is nothing but r upon magnet vector upon magnitude vector is a distance ve distance vector of this between the two charges now when you substitute the value of the force in this equation then the equation for a e bar will be equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon q upon r square a r bar a r bar is nothing but a unit direction in a r direction unit vector in a r direction now if you substitute the value uh, for 4 pi epsilon that is 8.85 into 10 raise to minus 12 for epsilon 0 then it will be reduced to the e bar is equal to 9 into 10 raise to minus 9 q upon r square a r bar this is a elect uh, as uh, the unit for this is a force per unit charge it will be newtons per coulomb or it will be volume per meter this is a electric field due to the point charge now let us see one example suppose the point charge is placed at a location a point 2 comma minus 3 comma minus 3 minus 1 comma minus 3 this is a coordinates in a represented in a cartesian form and they ask you to find out the electric field intensity due to this point charge phi nano coulomb at a origin first we will draw the diagram we will consider the three axes we will place that charge in the free space which is a phi nano coulomb and a is the point where it is being placed now they are the desired point is a origin which is given by 0 0 0 coordinates and let us first join these two and we will find out the distance r between them r is find out by the head minus tail formula which will give you the r bar is equal to minus 2 x bar a y bar plus a z bar then we will find out a r bar and substitute in this equation r we know a r we know then in the above equation we will get the e bar for this at origin that is minus 1.717 ax bar plus 0.8587 ay bar plus 2.576 az bar now let us see the electric field charge distribution over the if these charges are distributed over the different surfaces for this if it is it is distributed over the line the number of charges distributed over the line then it is given by rho l which is called as a line charge distribution over a line it is distributed that is called line charge distribution and if it is across the surface then it is called as a surface charge distribution and suppose it is over the volume it is a volume charge distribution then the electric field intensity for this different components will change for line charge it will consider instead of q it will be now rho l dl the value will be a rho l what is rho l rho l is nothing but charge per unit length which is given in a coulombs per meter this is for a small length if you calculate the dl it is a rho l into q dq by dl dq will be rho l into dl therefore the q will be integral of the dq charge will be a q charge in the above equation will be rho l dl similarly for the surface surface charge it is a charge per unit area that's why it will be meter square and this ds this will rho s will be dq by dl if you consider here a small surface ds and for from that if you are considering it is a dq charges are flowing then it will be a dq will be rho s into ds rho s into for the entire surface q will be integral of 
डी क्यू जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट ओवर द डी क्यू वे रो एस जी एस दिस विल बी डबल इंटीग्रेशन एज वी आर कंसिडरिंग द सर्फेस फॉर द सर्फेस वी आर कंसिडरिंग द टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स सिमिलरली फॉर द वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज गिवन बाय रो वी इज इक्वल टू चार्ज पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम इन कुलम्स पर मीटर स्क्वायर वॉट विल बी यर रो वी इज गिवन बाय डी क्यू बाय डी वी रो वी विल बी डी क्यू विल बी रो वी इन टू डी वी देन द टोटल चार्ज क्यू विल बी इंटीग्रल ओवर द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द डी क्यू जस्ट सब्सिट द वैल्यू ऑफ द डी क्यू इट विल रो वी डी वी दिस विल बी एज द वॉल्यूम एक्स एक्सेस वाई एक्सेस एंड जेड एक्सेस ऑल द थ्री एक्सेस वी आर कंसिडरिंग दैट्स वाई इट विल बी अ इंटीग्रल ओवर द थ्री सरफेसेस नो दिस इज दिस आर द रेफरेंसेस विच वी आर सींग थैंक यू